Hi everybody, today we're going to introduce you to our toad skin melons. Um, these are, most melons like a nice sunny spot and uh, they don't mind it nice and dry. Um, they definitely don't like it wet. Uh, we put our toad skin melons in this area here because it was a bit of spare stuff. It's a bit shady here so it wasn't the ideal place for them. This was last week covered in leaves as you can see most of the leaves have we'll faded away so it's time to pick toad skin melons here's a pumpkin who's invading from way back over there and yeah so why do we grow toad skin melons well basically rock melons and honeydew melons um they're a bit iffy you can get a nice one and you can get it terrible ones but the toad skin melons they're always good and we've never had a, one that was bad so uh, I'll just kill this little bug here this is a 28 spotted ladybird and it basically eats the um, tops of the leaves and leaves scars anyway back to the toad skin melons um, they're ugly melon, <laughs> as you can tell by their name, toad skin. If you pick it up and look underneath where it was sitting on the dirt, you can see it's not rotten. Watermelons, rock melons, honeydews, they all tend to go rotten on the bottom, so they're not an easy plant to grow. Um, we try to grow uh, things that are easy because we're <laughs> very, very busy in the garden and we don't want to mollycoddle stuff and so if it doesn't do well under our harsh conditions it we don't grow it but yeah this is these are always good so this is what it looks like it's uh, rough bumpy little skin which is why it's called toad skin or pel de sapo or they're also called christmas melons in uh, the northern hemisphere because they're actually a really long lasting melon they yeah. actually keep really well and that's another reason that we grow them because if you have a big harvest of them you can just sit them and uh, there and, and keep them on the shelf for quite a while and they're still really good yeah you can and, keep them uh, like a month yeah or even more or even more yeah that's why they call them christmas melons because in in the uh, northern hemisphere they harvest them um, at the end of summer and so then the keep them till of, Christmas. It's the end of February now. Can we keep this till Christmas? No, not that one. We don't live in the <laughs> Northern Hemisphere. Good grief. <laughs> okay, so you can see that these these ones actually this time, um, they climbed over these cages that were sitting there. And uh, some of them are actually hanging uh, in the cages. Um, but, you know, normally you just grow them as a flat crop. Yeah, so we're going to go and put this in the fridge and then we'll, tomorrow we'll open it up and show you how yummy it is. Hey everyone, here's our toad skin melon that we picked yesterday and we've chilled it overnight in the fridge so it's lovely and cold and so we're going to cut it open and see what it's like. Oh, it's a bit tough to get through but get in there. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. And... Yeah, look at that lovely, creamy, slightly greeny, yellowy flesh. And before we do anything else, I'm going to grab some seeds out of this one because we like to save our own seed and grow it on for next year. So I'm going to use a spoon to carefully scrape out some of the seeds. Try not to get too much stuff in there with them, just the seeds. them out and once I've scraped them out I'm going to actually wash them because I don't want all the um, sticky goopy stuff from there on them because I want to get them nice and clean and then dry them in the sun. That's why we put them in a colander. Yeah because I can wash them. Okay, okay we don't need a lot of seeds so that's probably enough. I'll just give one more spoon. Okay. There we go. Yep okay so um, the rest of the seeds I'm just going to scrape out and put in our compost. And occasionally what happens is they go through the compost and when we put the compost in the garden they'll come up. They but that's do. okay because that just means that we get some more melons in case we need them. 
and we have occasionally transplanted the odd thing that's come up from the compost and grown it somewhere and else. And that one goes in the fridge. Oh yeah, okay, that's right. I'll leave the seeds <laughs> in that one and okay. put it back in the fridge. So that's um, it. Yep. And then we'll slice it in half again. Put it on a plate. And eat it with a spoon. Like that. Yes.